Learning how to make xiao bao has always been in my bucket list. However, somehow it intimidated me. So I tried and truth to tell, it was an epic fail. And I tried again until I found a foolproof xiao bao making. And that is what I'm going to share with you today. So stay with me for a few minutes as we demystify the process, shall we? Let's start. Having tried so many recipes online, this recipe works best for me. So first to tackle is the flour. Some recipes calls for cake flour or all-purpose flour, but I was happy with the result of the bleached flour when I used it. For the yeast, I used the instant yeast. It erases the fear of the yeast not blooming. 1 4 teaspoon salt, baking powder, sugar, milk, it must be a little warm. Water. For the filling, I am so happy to find my mom's um, old recipe book. And so this is an heirloom recipe that I'm excited to share. For the pork, I used pork steak for a nice marbling of fat and I sliced it into small cubes. Soy sauce, hoisin sauce, brown sugar, rice wine, sesame oil, and cornstarch dispersed in water. And now, the fun part. First, let's make the dough. I decided to use my electric mixer. So let's start with the flour, then add the instant yeast. Take note of the word instant, which means no blooming, and the salt and the baking powder to make it fluff, sugar and milk, and the secret to life, butter. So let's start low and slow. For one minute, um, let's uh, mix all the ingredients okay, together. Set timer for one minute. Put it on low speed. Okay, Google, stop. Then we speed it up a bit one notch or two notches up for the next five to six minutes. Okay, Google, set timer for six minutes. Six minutes. And that's starting now. Meanwhile, while waiting for six minutes, I'm oiling the ceramic bowl that I'm going to use for my flour to rest. And voila! The electric mixer did a wonderful job. The dough is nice and smooth and soft. Now let's let it rest in our ceramic bowl for like an hour and a half. This is for its first proofing. And boom, beautiful. Now let's do another round of kneading and then putting it back in the ceramic bowl for its second proofing. And we should do that for another hour. While our dough is resting, let's talk about the asado filling. As I've mentioned, this is my mom's recipe. So it's an heirloom recipe. And what I like about it is that it's so easy. All we need to do is just mix all the ingredients together. Soy sauce, hoisin sauce, water, sugar, rice wine. Then give it a quick stir. And that's and it. Pour in the meat and then let it simmer until the sauce is reduced and also the meat is tender for about maybe 20 to 30 minutes. If you want to set aside some sauce, you could also do it at this point. Add the sesame oil. But with this filling, you don't need it. Believe me, it's so on point. So... There you go. After we put the cornstarch, give it a quick stir, and then see how it immediately becomes thick. And voila, it's done. See how simple? It's noted in my mom's recipe book that the filling should be chilled before we worked on it. So, our buns or our shopa won't be soggy. And this, my friends, is the asado pork filling. It is so good. 
We already had some for breakfast this morning. Yes, with rice and egg. <laughs> Aside from the asada filling, I also included red egg or salted egg. It is a nice touch. It gives a balance to the sweetness of the asado. Also, prepare some pastry sheets to line your bowls. I'm so excited. The dough has doubled its size. All right, it's like being a kid again, playing with Play-Doh, as in literally. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do is just roll it and then fold and then roll it, fold and then roll it out again, and then make a log. Fold the edges, roll it, roll it, form like a log. The next step is to divide the dough into eight equal parts. Shaw pao is usually bigger than those of the Chinese steamed bonds, so for this recipe, it makes around eight. Okay, for this next part, I, this is where I usually get stumped because I've been trying hard, really hard to hold the bun on my left hand and then try to pleat it with my right hand, but since I can't, my solution is just leave it on the surface, put the filling and grab all the edges and make a soft twirl and there you go easy peasy yay and in true filipina fashion don't forget the pastry liner at the bottom to make it look so legit there you go okay for the last step which is steaming the buns it takes you 15 minutes to steam them and bamboo steamer works best as it traps the moisture. And the reveal. Wow. Okay, Dad, you wanna try it? Sweet and savory asado is a perfect match. How do you like it though? It's like puto. Mmm, <laughs> so good. I hope you will be inspired to try one. Don't be scared. Just enjoy the process of learning how to make shopping. Hanggang sa muli, this is Mulu saying, that's a wrap.